Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is my favorite morph of Crested Gecko, the Flame. Personally, I feel like the Flame morph is one of the most underappreciated morphs of Crested Gecko. By many, it would be considered one of the more beginner morphs or one of the starter morphs. A lot of people like Extreme Harlequins or Tricolors or anything along those lines, things with a lot of pattern and a lot of color, but I think there's something to be said for just a nice flame. And with the flame morph, you don't necessarily have to have a orange and black gecko like most of my flames are. Your flame could be yellow, um, red, you know, you could have a brown one, you could have one that has Dalmatian spots and a partial pinstripe. There's a lot of things that can be going on with the flame morph. Uh, and the way I like to think about it, how I kind of rule out my flames from Harlequins and Extreme Harlequins is flames are pretty much have 25% or less of their side is covered with pattern. So, you know, if you're about a quarter or less, you're probably a flame. Anything above a quarter, like a quarter to maybe like 75, I would consider like a Harlequin. And then anything above 75, so if it's most of the side and it's touching the top or close to the top, I'd consider that an Extreme Harlequin. So your flames don't have much pattern on their sides, but a lot of flames have some pretty cool pattern on the top. And like I said earlier, you can have other traits on top of the flame. So you could have Dalmatian spots, you could have a pinstripe, you could have, you know, a crown. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can be going on with the flame morph. And in the background of this video, I have my girl Lissa and my unsexed baby Lunu. And I think she's a very cool looking flame. Uh, she's black, mostly like mostly black with very little side pattern at all. I'd probably consider that like less than 10% side pattern. Um, and then she has a nice like kind of orangey cream dorsal, which is very cool. As for the baby, it's kind of hard to tell. He might actually turn out to have more pattern than her, but you know, she's still looking like a little flame right now. So we'll see how he develops later on, but she's definitely a flame. And I think a lot of people overlook the flame morph just because, you know, it seems to me, at least in my my spectrum of stuff I see related to crested geckos that everyone always wants more color and more pattern and uh, nobody's really looking like to just have a nice flame. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of people who do have nice flames, but I would say generally speaking, the thing right now, at least kind of as I see it, is to get a gecko that has a lot of color and a lot of pattern, a lot of white and cream and a lot of pattern with a dark base. So, you know, basically your average extreme harlequin or your tricolor. And don't get me wrong, I really like tricolors and extreme harlequins. It's just, you know, it seems like there's, that's what everyone's shooting for, if you guys know what I mean. Like, everyone wants a nice extreme harlequin. One of my favorite gecko, or one of my favorite geckos, is an extreme harlequin uh, king, as you guys probably know. He's very cool, but at the same time, it would maybe be cooler if he didn't have as much pattern. That's kind of where Lissa comes in without her pattern. And, you know, I don't really, th like, there's a lot of people who are working with Extreme Harlequin projects or tricolor projects, and don't get me wrong, that stuff's cool, but I think it'd be cool if someone was trying to make a flame that had, like, little to no pattern, barely any pattern on the side, and just had, like, a very cool back. So kind of like Lissa, but with less pattern, and I really like the high contrast ones, too, with, like, the black and then the orange and cream i think that looks great and i actually only i've only seen like maybe one person i don't even remember uh who it was who was working trying to make like a, a flame like that because to me that'd be like the most cool gecko ever like just a gecko that has no pattern on the side and is like solid black or dark very dark brown and then has a very cool top color like i think that'd be sweet so that's something i want to work with personally uh and i think there's probably a couple other people out there working with it definitely not as many as trying to work with extreme harlequins but you know that's a goal one day to hopefully make a gecko that looks like that or have a gecko that looks like that that'd be very cool uh but Lissa's is very nice already so i'm okay with that it's just i think that flames are kind of underappreciated there's a lot of flames that get sold in pet stores um but a lot of those are just kind of brown and there's nothing wrong with the brown flames like if you guys know what rip your float looks like he's a little baby um he has spots and he has kind of a white back i'll put a picture of him on screen I would consider him a flame now he's not going to be a dark base like Lissa is by any means he's got a lighter brown kind of speckled base so he'll probably never get that dark and that's okay but he still doesn't have that much pattern so that means he's still a flame now he has a very cool back like he has a lot of like drips coming down and it's kind of a whitey cream color it's very cool and he's definitely a flame it's just he'll never have that dark base like Lissa does or Lunu does you know there's a lot of things that can play around here with the flame base or with the flame morph, I mean, 
and you know i just think it's something to keep on the lookout for you know i think a nice flame is very cool and i think it's something that's a little underappreciated let me know how you guys feel about this down below in the comments though i'm curious to see what your guys's favorite morph is um but leave a comment down below i think that'll be interesting to see and i will catch you guys in the next video